together. And the, the crazy thing about the Ceratopsians is you, you've seen them with bite marks in the frills? Uh, I don't know if I've personally seen it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, there's, there's scavenge marks, but there's also fossil record where they've been, bites have been taken out of them and they've lived and not had a rotting death, but actually recovered and kept growing. So these animals were clearly in some antagonistic ways at times. But big giant skulls is one of the biggest skulls of a dinosaur or any land animal you'll ever see. I can't find a, I, the only references I can find of any animal having a bigger skull than these are whales. Yeah. Baleen whales. I was thinking, is Titanoceratops bigger? I don't know. Yeah, but... I mean, from, like, like, we're right there on the edge. Yeah, Whatever it is, from, if it's a land animal... There's no larger land animal skull. I mean, like, like if, if somebody out there knows of an exception, please tell me, because... There, there's not. There's, you have to go to whales. So I suppose there might be some uh, mesonychid skull transitional that hasn't been... That would be the... But even then, they're long and narrow. So the, the, the attach this to the neck, they have specialized neck bones to help hold it up because it's so massive. I mean, the animal, and, and dinosaurs' legs are always underneath them, but the triceratops has a little kink to it because you want to be able to move around and pivot easier with it.